So guys, welcome to your 19th JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys a very useful tool when working with objects, and that's the index of. And what this does is when you have a long string, it finds the first occurrence of whatever it is you're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and make this string a little longer. I'm going to go, hello, Bob. My name is Susie. And what you do is instead of changing the value what we're going to do is look for the first occurrence of whatever we want to look for in a string so let's say we want to look for when the word Bob starts so instead of putting your whatever you're going to change in right here such as font color you want to type in the word index of and in these parameters you're going to want to find whatever it is you're looking for so right now let's look for Bob so it's going to go ahead and type in Bob let's go ahead and save this and I'll show you guys what it does right now it gives you the number six and you're thinking alright what does this mean well what this does is we say that Bob starts on the sixth letter of the string and remember, we start in computer language, we start counting at zero. So it goes zero, one, two, three, four. Space counts as a character, five, six. That's when it starts. Now, let's say we want to do something else. Let's type in Susie. Now, if we saved it and went and looked, see 21. Why? I won't count it out this time for you, it'll take too long because if you count all these Susie starts with the 21st character and remember to count your spaces as characters and start with zero but let's say we had something that wasn't even in a string like Mikey so what would happen if we save that and as you can see Mikey isn't in the string anywhere so if we save that and refresh it will give you a negative one and what this does is this is JavaScript's way of telling you that this is false and there is no value of Mikey in here so this can be useful whenever you're programming and you want to make sure that you have a string of text and you want to make sure that someone's name or something is included um, and if it, if it gives you a negative one then you can tell it not to run the program and it's just a pretty useful way of verifying stuff which I will get into later. But study this, and again, this is called the index of, and it's a useful way for searching out things and finding where placements begin in strings. So thanks for watching, and go to my website, autolangchat.com, and join it. Thanks.